I'm good. Morning, everybody. How are we doing today? Uh, let's cut that down. Right, yeah, we're going to take a look a little bit. Uh, let's see if I can get this one here working here just so we can get a little bit of close up. It's in and out. Let's see what I can do. Let me do. That looks good. It sounds like crapola. Absolute crapola. I'm trying to get a little something in today before uh, all the hectic, hectic stir stuff starts. I still feel like crap. As usual. I mean, I'm getting better, man. I mean, I is, I mean, it hasn't totally kicked me in the balls, you know, but. This has been a little bit of a rough one. I haven't been sick all winter. And so, what do I want to go? Video capture device. Uh, let's call this a C310. Well, that is not, oh, is that what this is? Okay. This one might be different. Is this a 720? Or a 2, 270? I don't know why it would be that. That one's a 3. Oh, this is different, ain't it? No, it's not. Yeah, it is. Okay, so that's a 310 and this is a 270. Ah, okay. Oh, give me something. Good morning, Vince. How you doing? Thanks right, for that. You're going to lose me for a second here. I mean, I'm still going to be here. I just really start my, uh, what you call it. Hey, Lester, how you doing? Morning, morning. Yeah, my camera's down for just a second. Well, this restarts. Well, you know, I mean, that, my JG Aurora is uh, real finicky. I think I push his button. Just give it a second. I, uh, I did put in the um, SSD into my PC, so that's running a little bit faster. I mean, I've been sick lately, so... Oh, look at that, it works. Okay. Cancel the... This one works. Cool, cool. But my big one don't work, of course. And there's my Perusa Studio on the wall. Still my idea. I don't know if you guys seen that or not. I don't know. I think it's pretty funny. All right, now we'll drag this. I'm going to rename this again. There's that, that, all right. Let's put this right there. So now, why ain't this one working? I don't know why this thing will only work with two cameras, or three cameras now. I always use four. You know, and it's not that I want, per se, four, four. But I want, um, I want to be able to access four. Um, this one. We'll put it right below that. Well, I guess this will be a put in and take out situation. But like I can see, this thing here was printed basically pretty decent all night. It's pulling up off the bed. But as you can see, we're having a little bit of an extrusion issue there. Come on back. There you go. Oh, no, we're really there. You know, we're having an, extru an extruder issue on this one. Just for the last little while. I guess I can pause this. Hang on. At least I think I can. I have paused. I don't know. 
Morning, Mr. Buckham. Good morning, Ben. But anyway, so yeah, it just started printing crap. There we go. Now it's going to go rest for a little bit. But otherwise, you know, it's been printing halfway to decent. I had a layer shift. It's lifting up a little bit, even with some adhesion promotion going on. Uh, God darn it, I do this all the time. I'm sorry, guys. I didn't even get you over to the big side there. There you go. Sorry about that. I don't have uh, Ben's buddy on either. I mean, you can sit right there for now. So I can do that also. But anyway, so then I'm also having problems with the uh, extruder on the, um, of course, on the tomato. There's two spot. Back uh, music going okay. There, now I should be able to hear you guys. Yeah, this is a JG Aurora. And uh, so. I printed a little silverware drawer part there, but we, uh, well, hell, this helps me too, so, we'll focus. Which model is it? Any good? This is an A5. And I should turn this down because that is just like stupid loud. <laughs> and turn the music back up. Oh, not that one. Oh, oh. There we go. And now that I switched over to my um, SSD, I can't find anything. Because I've moved everything and backed everything up and stuff, so. Yeah, this is the A5. It's a blue one. You haven't seen this yet, Ben? I've talked about it quite a bit. That's because you don't watch my show. <laughs> but it clicked and clicked. You know, you got to... I don't like the thing revolver here, how it sits there, and it's tight always. You know, but I don't know. And, of course, the one on my tomato is uh, all jacked up. But I think I'm going to stop this print because there's no sense going on with that. Ha ha, S-H-H-H, face with tears up, joy, face with tears up, joy. I've seen it but was unsure which model. Oh, yeah. Looks it's a, good. It's the A5. Might get one. I, I, it's kind of nice. I put lights in. Put a light bar right there. And I put a light strip that goes all the way up and around and over and down. It looks pretty nice at night. You know, it doesn't do snookies here. So, for, of course, uh, I put the remote down in there. So, it's kind of stupid. But, you know, I was basically done with it. I was going to be done with it today. I was letting this print go. And I wasn't going to do nothing really else to it. You know, just give it to my daughter. But now I got this issue. I knew the extruder wasn't that great. But, uh, not confirm. Are the lights there so you can see the under extrusion better? Yeah, exactly. Color sticking out. Exactly. That is there so exactly so I can see that under extrusion a lot better. All right, now. I could set you somewhere. I can actually see something. You know, I'll stay there for right now. I might just get it to stay. There you go. Alright, so. I gotta figure that out. I have not had that extruder apart yet. You know, the one easy way to do it would be to off me. So if I off my face. Let's rename this. I know I'm still, um, because this is a C270. Not a C37270. Okay. And there. There we go. I know I got that one. I 
got that on. Anyway, so you don't want all the cameras, but it's all right. I don't want them all either. Um, which one don't I want? Um, I want to activate it. And then when that give me that one. That's the activator here. I'm gonna shut it down quick again, see if I can get the other one to work. Again, hang on, I'm coming. Alright. So yeah, that, that that that's what that is. I mean I'm glad it printed all night. I mean I've been watching it, I've been up all night of course. And it just started doing this the last half inch. But I can still use this. I mean, I and then the um, retraction on it, I don't know what to set that at because I tell you, I got that up there. I got it at 7 at 70 millimeters a second trying to get it to uh, behave properly, you know. And uh, so far, yeah, it's not a uh, not agreeing with me. I don't want face cam. What do I want? Where is it? There it is. I don't know why I don't want to turn that damn thing on. And I got the face cam shut off, so trap cam should come on. Or they're not going to come on unless I kill a 270. I like the 270. Maybe can I kill my face cam? Unplug it, I guess. Hang on, I gotta, I gotta go down here. Batman going down. I think. I don't know. I unplugged something. Wasn't well, my microphone, so that's good. Was it? No. Let's kill this again. Yeah, and then Trucker, he was talking about um for my tomato me and uh changing something. I know that's in Marlin. So I'll have to Get into Marlin on that one. Uh, it doesn't help when you feel like crap, you know. I feel like crap all the time. I look like crap all the time, too. So I guess it doesn't matter. Turn some light on the subjects here. Well, that's turning on. And I still didn't get my one back, did I? All right. That's 270. What the hell is it? 370. Uh, crap cam. Crap cam 2.5. Okay, yeah, see, so come on now. Uh, I guess we'll just have to use this on that. Burn it out. Away. And I've determined now that the uh, green filament from Murph, crap, that's the Flex Meister something Paris man. I got two of the rolls. They just don't do nothing, man. It's true, just like that blue did right there. That blue's from Murph. <coughs> And, uh, yeah, so, I don't know. So we got to take a look at that. Now I want to 
I don't want to do with this one anymore. I want her to be done. Take them two screws there off, huh? We, oh, hang on. Let me retract this filament here. Scooter. Um, scooter back. Heat. Still figuring this thing out. There we go. But yeah, man, I mean, so far I like it. I mean, it's a loud machine in some aspects, like when it was doing across here. I mean, holy earthquake going on, man. I mean, loud. The music too loud. And you're supposed to be able to do one button uh, retraction of the filament. But, psh, I don't know. Alright, we're at 182, should be good. Retract. See, now if you, if you push it once, it's supposed to spoot it out. I don't know why. That's irritating. Just sit there and push it like 10,000 times. See what it does. See how long it runs for. I just pushed it like 450 millimeters. That's another thing. They're That's boating. Cool, Mike. That Bowden tube's just stupid long, man. Stupid, stupid long. Well, I wish it would work that way, though, so you didn't have to sit there and push it a bunch of times. They say if you push it once, it will retract. You push it twice, then you're kind of sol you know? Well, we're going to pop this extruder off here quick. I think it's out. No. It's just being a pill bot. Come on, roll up on there. Out. And I was, this thing just goes forever. Come on. Oh, it's out. Okay, I can quit. Do I can Who is the 3D printer expert for the AlphaWise U20? Does anyone know? Um, I think that pupil has one of them. I think that's what we were working on at Murph. What's going on with it, Lester? We don't have to be experts. We're 3D printers. What, mommy? What's wrong with the other wild? Ben ought to have three or four of them. Don't you, Ben? Yeah. Hey, Jake, Ben, how you doing? All right. Well, let's see what size we can find. Oh, was that a lucky grab or what? Uh, one thing about the JG Auroras are they are not wing met. They're not um, friendly, you know, user friendly for uh, working on them and crap like that. They're just not very friendly. As far as that goes. Good morning, Paul. Hey, Ron. How are you doing this morning? Still in bed? Yeah, still in bed. Whoa, and you got to hang on to that when you do that. All right, there's the extruder. And this has a filament sensor in it. Okay. Hang on, let me see if I can get this bitch out. Your motors actually have a lockdown in them. 
Good morning, Ron Juan at Canadian Maker Project. I may have just bought a SKR 1.332 BIT board and some TMC 2208S to play with. There you go. For science. Not good. Not good. Alright. So this is your shooter. That's it? Really? Well, isn't that just stupidly dumb? Okay. I was trying base mode and it screwed up the firmware somehow, reprogrammed the firmware with an old version, realized it was an old version, re equals flash to the 2.16a, current version, during. At Jake from State Farm Science, it real good. Okay. I was trying to base how did it screw you screwed up the firmware or it screwed up the it screwed up the firmware it screwed up the firmware just by trying to do vase mode with an older version it was an older version I've been awake all last night, and demons. Oh, yeah, them demons are hell. You want to come on? Demon child? Okay, so what we have here, if you want to come on, let's come on. I don't care today. Use a chill out session. So, what this has. Who put that shit in there? Uh, let's get rid of... I mean, how in the hell the chat shows up today? That never shows up. This way, I'm trying to find... Uh, Initiation is said something about not recovering the factory settings. Preheated while I prepped the still, runaway temp, went up to 348C and cooked my O10 and welded the Capricorn to it. Face with tears of joy, face with tears oh, of joy, man. face with tears of joy, face with tears of joy, face with tears of joy. That does not. Hey, Ben, this is for you. There you go, Ben. There come there you go there you go or is that backwards <laughs> I don't care what way it is you can still I don't know why that's there I guess I can go over there then Until we have a little tiny filament sensor there, run out sensor, which is just a very, very small end stub. Thanks. I'm going to get some light on the subject. Yeah. What's it like in San Diego? Anyone know? At Lester C. Weather L2, did you slice the file yourself? There you go, as, as the smart man in the room. That's who I always ask. Whoa, we're going to have a problem here if that does that. Oh, guys, we're running into a little problem here. I really don't think I was supposed to do that. At Hawk 3D Proto, I've never been, but I've heard it's nice. 70s and sunny all year around. Awesome, Mr. Butra. All right. You tram. Yes, but I did not know what I was doing. Kura 3.6, model off of Thingiverse. 
And so it does. I didn't think it had this little bearing in there, but it does. So the filament spooks into that hole, rolls through there, comes out that hole. And this whole thing is moves back and forth like this to a tighten the filaments up. And this is no way of. Uh, Kind of sucks. There ain't no way of tighten, tightening, tightening, tensioning the tensioner on this thing. Blah, 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 blah. But oh, I guess I could pull that spring, couldn't I? And you only get just a little bit of uh, movement here in this. So I don't know. Another extruder I don't think I like. Am I upside down? Yes, I am. So. I don't know. I mean, you think you like the thing and then it does stupid stuff like this. I mean, look at that. Why do they only let you move it that much? I mean, literally, that's all you can move it. Just asinine. All right. Did you uh, see what Mr. Lester... At Lester C. Weather L2, how are you loading the firmware? Have you tried TH3D or Basic Marlin? I don't know. I like that much at all. Because we don't be able to get some of these twinks and twinks out of stupid ass thing. And take off some of those damn shit here. All right, let's take this print off. Get this thing out of the way. I guess I should uh, check the size of the filament, gay. When the base was printing, all I got was about three millimeters thick circle, about four inches in diameter. Kent's proprietary firmware running on a STM thirty two F one zero three. And clean this bed too because I have a fucking adhesion promoter on here and I don't know if I want it on here. But I wasn't getting nothing to stick without it, but I don't know how everybody says they get good adhesion on these things, but they do. That's what they claim. Anyway. There should be a max temp limit in the firmware. You write two files to an SD card and boot to the SD with power on. I mean, I wonder it turned out bad if uh, you want two files to the SD card. And it's time to take out the 3D pen and I'll finish this with a 3D pen. <laughs> Let's see what this film is like, man. That'd be about my only other thing. I'll let them take care of you, Lester, because, yeah, they're better, way better at that than me. Especially that, uh, Ryan. 
Going to try again today and stay with the machine as it preheats and watch it very closely. Finished rebuilding the hot end last night. 1.65. Don't run around about 1.65, but ain't good, but it ain't terrible. I've had worse. Yeah, if you can stay with the damn thing all night long, it's your best bet. Oh. Home. All right, let's see what it does. And I can get rid of some of this. I do not like it, man. I mean, they got a hundred miles of filament or of a Bowden tube on this thing, man. That's the worst part. Why would we let that come up like that and brought this around? Well, but then when it goes up in there, that's another problem. But in one problem, it's another, right? That's in good spot there. Let me get a brush. Help a brush. And get your film in and now you got it. If just... it really did get that high, your thermistor will be toast. The 100K Ohm E3D thermistor has a max temp of 290. I'm realizing I know nothing about AlphaWise printers. And a quick Google search doesn't find me much info on the U20 and thermal protection. Yeah, I need to look at that. Now, what is that? What, um... What, uh, what's his face at? Um, a pupil, Jeff? I don't know much about him. I want to look at it. Just give me a sec. Where are we? We can go up here. Let's try to see what the hell. Yeah, that's what Jeff had. That U20 has a 3-2 BIT board. I understand. I like the printer. It works quite well. That is why I was looking for someone who has one in the community. Jeff Bowen, if apt pupil. Yeah. Is. Yeah, he has one, but he doesn't really understand it either. We spent uh, all of Murph working on it to get his to print, which we got his to print. But he might he might know more about the firmware end and stuff like that. But he's had his for like a year. ASL. ASL what? Yeah, that's one that Jeff had. I know it is. JFR. Ask TH3D, he has two of them. Yeah, go ahead. Get in touch with him, though. I guess that's just confusing me a little bit because... Oh, well. Then we need to get together. Okay, on TH3D. Yeah, but will he talk to you? Um, all right. Yeah, I mean, I, I this is my first touch screen. So, like, Jeff was trying to explain stuff to me at Murph. 
And I was just like lost, man, because I'd never messed with a touchscreen except for that one now. And now I got this JG Aurora. So, I mean, I still, I guess I'm still lost. wonder which way that goes. I guess it can only go in one way, right? No, yeah, man, stupid thing there. Don't they can go there? That's just dumb. It is a little different. Maybe on the TH3D board on Facebook. Touch screens are blocked. Um, so far, I, I, I could never take them. I mean, I'd rather, I think I'd rather have my uh, knob on there so far. It's harder to find stuff if you don't know I started stuff. using a stylus for the touch screen, and it works much better than your finger. I want them right here. But still, it, it, it's not that I. It's that I don't know nothing about it. MKS TFT. No idea what that means. Version three point two. Ben. At Jake from State Farm Haya. I like clicky clicky mechanical satisfaction. There you go. And, um, yeah, that's it. I mean, I don't know. I guess I know all the settings better with the clicky clicky satisfaction thing, too, you know? The touch screen has a much higher resolution with more information displayed on it. Yes and no. I mean, yeah, it's got more information at one time on it, but I can. Seems like there's more stuff on the clicky click screens than there is on uh, this thing, and even on the U20. Because we were looking for certain things, you know, like baby stepping. How do you baby step with the damn touch? Allegedly, screen? you can't baby step. Yeah, see, look at that. He knew what I was gonna say. Jake knew what I was gonna say right there. Yeah, baby stepping, man. I like to baby step it again. No can do. This this is a good printer for somebody that doesn't want to mess with it. Don't want to mod it at all or anything, you know. It might be a good printer for that, but this definitely is not any type of printer. I like messing with them too much. Can't run Marlin. Why? That's right. That has something else on it. What is it? What do you use for firmware on that? I forgot about that. There was something totally different on that. You may need to create a custom icon and code or some crap to get baby stepping. Yeah, but I, I ain't writing code. I don't know how to do that. It's somebody else's job, not mine. Somebody else is the uh, is the uh, code writer on the grease monkey. Propriety software. Yeah, so I that's right. I remember that now. Um. I got, here's what you do. Okay, here's what you do. I got I got to figure it out, Lester. You open that box up that you got, you know, unplug everything. Unscrew. I'm code master. Unscrew that. Unscrew that little board thing that's in there and just 86 it. Put a new board in there and put Marlin on it. Or if you can get Marlin to go onto that board, put Marlin on that board. Otherwise, 86 that board and get a different board. I think that's what I told Jeff, too. I wonder if he's out there. Let me go look on Discord. Yeah, 
Jeffy Jeff. You out there? Doopy. Come on. Um, don't select. All right, here we go. Let's see if I can find Jeff. Look, Zimi. And people, where are you? Let's see what it changed out. <laughs> hey, man, I'm Jeff just... the motherboard. LOL. I have thought about it. For 20, 25 bucks, put an MKS board in there, and then your headaches are gone. <laughs> you know, I mean, I don't know. Yeah, you get in that just like this thing here is probably priority theory too, you know. But this has an MKS board in it, so, you know. But I can get the firmware for this, which I already did. Um, Somebody's got to have the firmware for that. What was I doing here? Mm -hmm. I'll we'll put out a hello call, see if he answers. <clears throat> but there is no adjustments or anything you can do to this thing either, so I don't like this one either. So, And why is it skipping on me? Do I have a clogged nozzle? How far down does that Bowden tube go into the hot end on a JG Aurora? Does it go all the way down like everything else? Or can I get in there and do something? These are the I questions. I to put it through its paces first. Sorry, didn't mean to take up so much bandwidth. No, you're all good, brother. You're fine. That's what we're here for, man. We're here to work on stuff. And to help each other out. Damn, that is hot. Son of a bitch, that extruder's still on. Well, that's what an extruder looks like. <laughs> oh, damn it. That is hot. I did not think that extruder was still on. Oh, yeah, 210. I'll be right back. That was a hot one. Uh. That's a hot one, man. Holy snap. Oh, I don't know if that thing shut off. That's what you get for thinking, huh? Oh, boy. That is definitely a hot one there. Oh, yeah. I implanted that print really good into my finger. Nice day. Oh, boy. All right, cool down. All right. Pose. There you go. That's how you do that. Pose. Son of a bitch. That's hot. Owie. Yeah. The bed was off. I don't know what the hell the extruder was still doing on. But it was on. Man. Two hundred and ten C and I grabbed hold and I squeezed hard, man. I put my finger on there and squeezed hard. <laughs> man, and that, that's gonna feel good like all freaking day long now. Right now, what I was trying to do was get it so uh, and try to get that out of there. Guess we'll just unscrew it. How about that? That's another way to do it. Because when they get to be finicky like that, is you just unscrew it. And find the right wrench. 
Let's unscrew this stupid thing. Man, my daughter's going to love that. She's going to be on me for days to pop that now. My daughter's all freaked that way. Am I going to pop? Huh? When am I going to pop? I just grabbed the extruder when it was on. With my thumb right there. I'm running in here when she hurts she gets to pop something one day. Where's your knife? No, it just happened. I'm still in pain, you little wackadoodle. Well, this is going to tell us how far down this is in there. Well, it's down in there, but not too far. So, now I can use that cleaning film in there. Oh. That means I gotta turn that booger back on, don't I? <laughs> I mean, because that's about the only thing I can think of is that it <coughs> clogged. Well, all of a sudden it would start <coughs> under extruding like that. But I tell you one thing, that was hot. Was definitely hot. And a little heat to her. Move up. And that's going back. Now let's heat it back up, I guess. Um, Ron, are you still in here? Yes, I don't have to ask him. I can read the directions. Step one. Yeah, I don't need that much. Okay, so it doesn't need to be that hot, but. One eighty is good, I guess. It says one seventy five. I I can do 180. Bunch it's there already. Thank God for methadone. <laughs> that was a nice cold pull right there. Spin so maybe you can see the exclusion action. Ooh, it's coming out. Oh, yeah, right there, right there. When I first started feeling the heat, I didn't think much of it. I thought it was a damn LED light. So I left my finger there. You know, like, what the hell? Oops. Ain't nothing hot down there. That's just an LED. I know they can get pretty hot, but my fingers can take pretty hot. And, uh, yeah. I was gonna put on a, um, a boot, too, you know. How's that looking? Still got some blue in her. I 
Okay, let's go up a little bit more. Put two, two hondo. Let her get uh, in there a little bit. Cook her on a little bit. Oh, rock and rolling a little bit of jiggy. Getting jiggy with it. Mm. Well, I mean, it looks all right, really. Don't look like there's anything in there. Once again, there ain't no way of, uh, so I figured out a way of um doing the uh thingamabobber there, you know, Billy Bob. I'm gonna turn this up high and do a little cooking action in there. You know, there ain't no uh we'll only let this thing go to two fifty, eh? Wow. Well, who's all out there now? Oh, Matt's playing live, too? I didn't realize Matt was live this morning. What the hell has he got going on? Music there, so let's go see what Matt's doing quick, eh? Maybe that's where everybody's at. I almost didn't stream this morning because I feel like crap. I shouldn't have everybody streaming. I know fun in the country basement thing with the uh, big parties going on today. My daughter has to watch that. Increased chances of winning filament. Andy? Anybody there, ain't it? Hello. Cheater. Who? Who's cheating? Me? Yeah. Hey, my daughter 3D prints too, so that ain't cheating. She owns two 3D printers. I just don't ever let her play with them that much. <laughs> I'm an asshole. She's always too busy anyways. <clears throat> She got her cousin over. She won't be here. I'll allow it. You'll allow it? Well, thank you. Thank you, Matt. I'm just trying to cook this hot end out a little bit. Glad I didn't touch it now. I got it up 250 degrees, man. That would have sucked, but royally. Move that over. Move that over. Ever scrub your hot ends with a wire brush? Just like that. It's nice, I don't want to play nice. Alright. Cool down. I'm down to a hondo. Oops. I'm in and out of everything here today. Yikes. Is that just me? That my crappy camera. I gotta sit here and push on this while it uh, cools down. That's what I don't have to do it yet. I can wait. I can wait, man. I got time, I tell you. 
not the button. And I'll put this. I, I don't want to put this extruder back together without figuring out how to uh, fix it. I was sleeping with my glasses on, jammed them into my face, and now I got a sore spot on my nose. And they probably don't help none either. Damn thing ain't even straight. Hey, one thing, this thing takes a month of Sundays to cool down. To really check the uh, a new hot cooling fan I put on there, see if it do the puddle test, you know. Because the original one just blows from one side, from the back side, and I put a I printed one that blows from three sides, and I wonder how it cools. Ah, Lee, that hurts. That was smart. So let me tell you. They'll push them through. At 160. And I don't know if I stretch that spring out, if that will help it any, you know? Yeah, you can do that sometimes to help it out. And so, I don't know. What are we at? 135 and it's still coming out. We'll go down some more. I'm about to shut it off. That'd be easy, huh? You hit the off button, dummy. And I'll burn myself again, right? I think that was part of my problem, but not all my problems. I didn't want to do that. Yeah, well, I took out some of it. I think we'll do that a couple times. There's still some yak in there. Yeah, my thumb's got to go back on cooling. Yeah, just do that one. That one sucks. Alright. I need to bring a fan over here so I can help cool it down. Candy! Yeah, let me go get my daughter quick. I need a hand. Candy!
I need you to go underneath my desk. Oh, hang on, hang on back. That fan there? I want you to hand to me back here. Yeah. Yes, that's all I needed, but I need a damn fan, all right? It ain't that big of a deal, but I need it. Thank you. That's it. That's all I needed. You are correct. Go in. Crap. Damn kid. Alright, now we'll start cooling our back down. Oh, shut it off, right? You remember that? Uh, a fan up here. Just give it some more cooling. Some more cooling action, Ina. Or chill out a little bit faster. Yeah, it's chilling out a lot faster. Not totally faster, but a lot faster. And with this dual Z on here, I need to make something that will make it easy to uh, level it out. Level out the dual Z on it. Because they move way too easy when, uh, like, when you're doing shit like this. Just moves way, way too easy. I can get it down to 100 here. This thing just, it doesn't cool down fit. I mean, it's a monster block of aluminum, no? On here, when I had this thing apart, I'm just like, crime and nellies. There's a lot of aluminum in there. You know? Mom, I'm so glad that tap was on there. Oh. Toad just fell off. Come on, you toad sucker. <laughs> 120. How's that much? I mean, I think that's going to be good enough. There we go. Now, damn shit. Out of there. I think that's, that's it from that, um, I did some Ron Canadian Maker Project. This is a purge filament from Filament CA up there in that Canuck area. Filament CA. Got that at Murph from Ron. Only give me one. I got another one of these somewhere. He mailed to me. And it took like eight months for him to mail it to me. Funny, funny. All right. And then uh, he mailed it to me finally, and then I lost it. <laughs> I moved and I lost it. So, I don't know. Good morning, everyone. Hey, good morning, Joe. How you doing? How you doing, buddy? We're learning on how to burn your fingers really good here on uh, the channel this morning. I did a good one this morning. Ooh, doggy. Um, where are you, freaking dirty connect? There you are. All right. So, uh, let's go a little bit. <laughs> I need, I need something to cut that straight. I don't think it's straight. Ouch. Should be in my drawers of uh, crud here. There we go. One of these here out of work. 
Tired and sore. Tired and sore? Been working out or something? Oh, yeah, look at that. You know what I can do? I can cut this bitch off here and shove it back to you that way, and that will shorten this end up. How about that? What you been doing, Joe? Huh? Huh? Buddy? I have been around much this week, so... Fire minds want to know. Ouch. And let's see right about there. I'll be good enough. Yeah, the problem with this one is, man, that you're going to lose some filament here, and it's going to be gone, gone. And that was nice and straight. Did breaks yesterday and pulled carpet. None stop all day. Oh, well, at least you're busy. You're keeping busy. You didn't get no snow yesterday? <laughs> it snowed all day yesterday. I mean, there's still snow on, on vehicles here. I guess I, I got a camera. I can show it. My truck's clearing off. Car across the street there. Still covered. Yeah, that's in laws. Right there. And that's their car and their trailer. Where is it? Where am I? Not here. Right there. That's their trailer. That's how far away from I am from my in laws. They live right there. Oops. I guess I really didn't realize, pay attention that this thing had a filament out, run out sensor on it, which is kind of cool. Well, that's good, Joe. I'm glad you didn't get none. You didn't need none, right? I need coffee and a cigarette. Oops. Yeah, this thing was printing just fine ish. And it printed all night. And then it started under extruding. Right at the fine time. It was fine. I didn't care. It was up high enough. It's just a, a silverware drawer separator thing. A compact one. So, you know, I really didn't care too much for that day. You know, that it didn't finish. Because it's just for silverware. And it made it high enough that it capped everything on the inside. So, yeah, that's all good. That's fine. I didn't care. Uh, but I did care about touching that damn thing, though. All right. Now I can take this back off. Which is what I was trying to do when I decided to see how hot I could get my finger. Uh, I, I grabbed the hot end, Joe. I thought it was the uh, LED light just being a little bit warm until it got really freaking warm and realized it wasn't just the uh, Huda Huda, you know? Huh. By then, it was way too late. Way, way too late. Boy, was it hot. Ouch. Yes, sir. It was an ouch all day long. So, so I'm fighting that on my thumb while I'm trying to work. Which doesn't make the job any easier. Y'all know that. Oops, don't do that again, dummy. Where is everyone? I don't know. Well, hell, I'm the new Don Ron, so I guess I'm the new Don, according to everybody. <laughs> I'm just joking. 
I don't know. Nobody hangs out anymore again. They all go over and hang out with other people. So I don't know. I don't care. I sit here and have fun by myself. I'm all good. Morning, Phyllis. Hey, Robert. How you doing? I mean, I could still take another eight inches off this damn thing. <sighs> I still don't think that was a problem. Between it being a little bit undersized and this damn extruder mechanism that you can't adjust. Morning, Robert. I'm just not sure how you'd go about it. God damn, that hurts. You know how burns are, you know? They're, they're good for a minute or two, and then they... You got to get them back on ice because they realize they're still burning. So then you got to put that damn thing back on ice for a minute. Of course, they don't make thumb-sized uh, ice packs. I'm sitting there looking at this thing, trying to figure out how to tighten the extruder up. Morning, Joe. Because it's not that... I mean, the only thing you can do is stretch the spring. I mean, that's the only thing you can do to this damn extruder end. You know? Stretch your spring out a little bit just to make it a little stiffer. But it's like bang right there. Guess you could drill that out a little bit. Man, I'm going to push yourself. Get out. Get out, AC. There we go. Okay, you go over there. But the only thing would be is just to drill this and well, then you got that stop there too. You got two different stops on here that the nut or the bolt head for the, the bearing there and then that black stop there. The, the bolt head hits right here and then of course that thing hits right there. I mean that's That's all you get for movement. Oh, uh, you can't really see that, can you? It's hard to see, but right there. Oops. See that movement? <laughs> it's probably four millimeters, if that, total movement. I mean, that's like literally it. I guess they have a caliper right here. Let me push it in right there. Hang on. Let's see, let me see if I can get this total movement here. We're at 880. Oh. To 1010. So you got like 1.1 millimeters that moves, right? 880 to 1. To 10. To 10. 1. 880 to 10 1. That's 1.1 millimeters. That's how much movement you have. Adjustment movement in your extruder. Now, what are you going to do with that? You know, it should have a damn connector right here so you can disconnect this stupid thing. The one back there. Oh. Because they both hit. I know I got. You can't see crap because of my big old glove here. And, uh, just to get a little bit, you're going to have to bend that out just a touch. Can you? Where does that go in there? 
Excuse me. Um, it goes right there. Right to next to it. Oh, that's going to be that way. So, yeah, it used to be all right there. I forgot I had a light right here. Because we don't have crap for light over here. And we ain't seeing nothing. I forgot I had the big old light right here. To help us out a little bit. Don't worry. I've been here all day. I just uh, a little slow in the head. So. And then a small, small. You can't even see it. Uh, let me see if I can get us a, get us a come on over and take a gander. Okay. Oh. Off to work on that carpet more. Okay. I'm trying to show you how small that damn thing is. That little tiny end stuff. But I can't get my feet right there it is. There we go. And that sucker's small. There, there's my finger. It's like a third of the size of a regular one. That's funny. All right. Well, I mean, I guess the only thing that I can do is do some grinding, you know? Go in there with a drummel and drummel out a little bit there and there. And even still, you're not going to get a lot. I mean, you only got a couple mils worth of material anyways before it's all wackadoodle. I will check back in later. Yeah, well, we'll see. We've got about 45 left. Because I don't know if Chris is going to live stream today. I know they're doing fun in the country basement stuff. The super party for uh, whoever that is, Glenn. Ah. Uh. So, I don't know. I'd like a little bit more room there. I guess I could start just by stretching the spring, huh? Do the one that doesn't uh, destroy anything first. Start with that. Go in here and just grab her and give her a little bit. Ah. Whoops, I didn't want to stretch it that much, especially right there. I knew that was coming. I guess that'll work. Gotta squeeze her in a little bit right there. Bring her in. Oh, what the hell? I thought somebody was here. This is just really hard to do one handed, man. Sorry, guys. All right. That's in there, that's that. Let me cool my thumb down. I'm going to jam, jam this together quick. And put the thumb back on ice again. This goes like that. So, let's that back. I'm to try to figure out how best way to do this stupid thing in a bob right here. Come on now. There we go. Not too bad I want to sit right there, huh? You got all kinds of room. Oh, yeah, that's a tight son of a bugger now, ain't it? All right, well, we got her tight. Let's cool the thumb down. Everything goes around the back side. These two screws go on there. This one and this one with this. Then between stretching that, cleaning the hot end, changing, shortening the bowden tube by not a lot. 
And then, uh, this is going to go like that. Like this, like this, like this. Oh. Alright, now it don't fit. Damn stink. I go that way. I go that way. No, it goes that way. Okay. And that's what's going on like that. Sorry, I'll move the camera so I get this going. Ain't that work out right there? Yeah, no. Okay, well. There we go. The big question, though. Is it gonna work? Let me forget to plug the motor back in, which I do all the time. I never plug the motor back in. Start a print, and you're like, what the hell? Well, that sounds like some good music to play in there. I like it. I like it. That's all we in. Plug the motor in, dummy. All right, motor's in. Maybe bit the same old cruddy film we had. I mean, it's supposed to be good film, huh? but Like, it takes on water real easy. Or something, I don't know. I, I don't know. I gotta clean the bed, too, yeah? I snip some of this off. You can find the nippers. I'm just gonna find a hole. Gotta find a hole. Let's see what that one buttons are. Let's see what happens here. Back, back, move, back. I'm gonna make a noise over there. Level, no. Scooter. Yeah. And why doesn't it work? Oh. Do I have to have the temperature up? Anybody know? McFly, McFly. Wanna turn it up to ten, bad. Move, bad. Scooter. Alright. Only for the temperature to come up. It's coming. Well, we'll let the thumb rest. Have a cigarette while the extruder temperature comes up. So what's everybody going to do today? We know that uh, Joe there, he is working on his carpet. He did his brakes yesterday. He uh, seems like he's uh, motivated. I got to get a 3D pen out and fix the top of this crap. No, that it didn't finish, right? Let's make it look halfway decent. Just go around with the I don't know. I'll go around with a different color around the top. You know? Well, besides that, it was decent. I mean, it didn't stick to the bed at first. Dude, ma! Look at that, baby! Ooh, almost got me a kitty. Oh, I need that. Oops, there goes a winch. Oh, what are you talking about? I think we'll try it. Something that's already <coughs> garbed. Oh, there we are. Two times. All right. See, 
you know, like, like the Lakewood does up to 300 centimeters, and that thing should be extruding forever, right? But it won't. See, look at why I did stop. That was not 300 centimeters. I don't want even 300 millimeters. I'm up to five, 600. That should be well far enough. No. There it is. Bingo. All right. Now we will wipe the bed down here. Just a second. I'm getting a bit tall here. Here's the paper towel. Well, we're going to get this one running. The JG Aurora, anyways, it looks like. We didn't, we didn't work it there. I think I have to it later on that. Some of you know, me for taking a paper towel. I like this generic paper towel more than I like the other stuff. The other stuff is too fluffy and it leaves uh, crap floating around everywhere, you know. So I don't really like that. That's per se. As much as I do the crap paper towel. I'm trying to move this to where we're going to be able to see something. All right, now let's go on to print. I don't know what that is, G code. I don't know what that is. Let's go to a file. No files. Okay, back. No files. Back. We need some hot, 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 hot G code. There's a cat. Benchy. Can we do a Benchy? What the hell, huh? We'll try a Benchy. See how well this thing does a Benchy with my monster cooling on here. I put lots of Howdy, folks. Hello, hello. We got hey, Mad Mike. How you doing, buddy? And we got the extruder problem fixed on the JG Aurora. I don't know if the tip was clogged or I don't know, but I stretched the spring, cleaned the nozzle, shortened the Bowden tube up a bit, made it more of a direct pad instead of the. Dookie ass, let's see which direction we can make it go. I mean, that thing was all curly and everything, so it looks a lot better now. So we'll see here in just a minute. What you got going on today, Mike? Because it was printing fine, and it started under extruding, and just went to crud. I mean, it ain't perfect, but it was all right. Doing good. How did your printed linear rails turn out? Well, you know, I haven't went back to that. I got all these printers, and I've been working on them. Um, I'm going to give it a break, give them their break here for a little bit. We'll get back to the linear rails here maybe next week. We will see. But I've been so busy with the new printers that I just haven't farted with it, you know? You know how that That's is. Cool. You get, you get new toys and you want to play with them. You don't care about the old ones no more. <laughs> you know how that is. Come on, heat that bed up, you slug. I mean, this thing, we're at 46. We're almost there. Almost to 60. The hot end's there. We're just waiting on the damn. Hopefully, I didn't move that, one, that, 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 that exit all gantry. Because that sucks. I gotta re level that. I gotta design something for that to get it to be 
Make it easy to level them out. For the ones that they have out there, I don't think will fit on here. So, I really can't use them. LOL. Always play with the new stuff. Easier on frustration levels. God, you would think so, you know, but it's actually not. These things have been a kind of a pain in the butt. Well, like the JG Aurora here, I just have never messed with, seen one of these machines, messed with one of these machines. The Enders, I just know inside and out, you know, so I do stupid stuff to them, like put 3D printed rails on them, you know. But something like this, I know nothing about, and trying to do anything to this thing, man, is just hell. Yeah, I take out 10,000 screws just to do one little thing, and you take stuff apart you don't need to, and you realize that later. It just pisses you off, you know? It's just all kinds of crazy stuff. All right, here we go. I don't know what that sound was. We're going to try a little benchy here, see what it does. Plenty of room left on that loading tube, that's for damn sure. I'm trying to see what it's doing. I'm probably taking you guys right down here. Look at that. It's set it right there, and you guys can almost see perfect, eh? Which direction, though? There you go. You got light and everything. I can see better, too. I ain't got to bend all the way out down there. A little bit out of focus, but there ain't much I can do about that. It's supposed to be a benchy, so we'll see what it does. And then the tomato, I got to get that. Uh, I know a trucker was saying something. I got it written on my desk here somewhere. I don't remember where I wrote it. I wrote it on my desk here, talking about the, the settings I got to change, the, 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 the numbers I need to change. Hey, Ron. Good morning, everybody. How are you all doing? He's out of bed and dressed. Uh, no, it's more of how I got over my, um, me feeling bad for myself and everything else on the sun. So, yeah. Uh, then, I got, uh, then I got dressed. No, it's more of how I got Quit feeling sorry for yourself, you did? Pardon me? You said you quit feeling sorry for yourself? Yeah, something like that, you could say. Yeah, you don't feel sorry for yourself all the time. All you want, nothing do you no good. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, last night I was dealing with my own demons. Basically, um, self-pity and everything else under the sun. So, yeah. Oh, me too. I, I understand that, Ron. The, the self, your own demons are the worst things in life. Yeah, I used to drown them demons, but I don't drink no more. Some days you wonder why, but you never know. Yeah. Oh, is it actually sticking to the bed? Is it actually extruded? Like you're on down. Yeah, I'm seeing stuff coming out of there. Yeah, it's but it's actually though. extruding. I um, it was really under extruding. I can kind of show you here. And this one, it was under, sir, under extruding right at the end of the print. Have you yeah. tried just bring a benchy to see if it's just, uh... Well, I took it apart. Work? I took it apart. Well, that was your first mistake, yeah, but go on. No. Well, no, I could hear it <laughs> skipping. I could hear it skipping. I know. I'm just pulling, I'm just being yeah. a jackass. <laughs> but, so I wanted to look at the extruder anyway, so I took the extruder apart. You know, and there's, there's no adjustments in there that you can do whatsoever. It only moves 1.1 millimeter. So, we're kind of SOL on that, bud. And so, all I could really do is stretch the spring. And that's all I did was stretch the spring until you get, it up, get out the Dremel and start Dremeling shit. You know? And so, we don't want to start that right away. So, then I took your uh, filament cleaner and nozzle cleaner stuff that you yeah. got me. And I did that. 
and then I put it all back together. I cut a little bit off the Bowden tube, straightened the Bowden tube out because I mean it was like a snake going every direction, and now it's kind of straight. I wanted to be done with this one, you know. I didn't do much to it. I added LEDs, updated the firmware on it, and you know it was kind of it. And then that was it. I was done. It was my daughter's, and I was going to let her print whatever she wanted on it, you know. Yep. And then this morning it was under extruding, so I had to get back into it. But I mean, it, it isn't wasn't bad, bad. So yeah, it looks like it's coming out pretty good. Yeah, no, it does. I don't hear the clicking at all. I mean, because I could hear that sucker clicking, you know. So yeah, and it looked like the first layer was beautiful. Yeah, I it like you're pretty, am I correct? You are printing a Benchy. Yeah. Oh, you know who you need to send that Benchy to? <laughs> yeah. I, I tell you, I don't print a lot of Benchies. I just didn't feel like slicing nothing. This was on the SD card. Oh, okay. So, what I should have done is printed the cat that I put on there that it's I It's really weird, though. I noticed I'm watching its tool head uh, movement, and it seems to want to lift the head after it prints two layers and starts at the front again. Oh, now the Z hop? I don't know. I'm. Maybe Z Hop. It could be Z Hop's enabled. Like I say, this came from factory. Yeah, weird. This is a uh, factory uh, settings here, so I don't know what they use for a slicer. Yeah, I don't know nothing. Yeah, yeah, right Z -Hop. yeah I just yeah. did it again. Why is it do that? Uh, it must have Z Hop enabled in the uh, print. Yeah. I'm sorry, the actual, actual pathing is weird. <laughs> I'll yeah. be the first one to say it here, you know. Why does it always start at the front? Yeah. Oh, um, I, well, I know why it starts there. It starts there so all the, the seam is right at the front end. You know what I mean? Uh, maybe. So you don't see it as much? Yeah, they just hopped again. Yeah. And we'll do it probably everyone here. We'll get a little bit closer. How about that? Doesn't help with that's the a weird tool path uh, programming. That doesn't help with the focusing any, does it? No. Smaller is better when it's out of focus. I don't know if I can focus this one. You can't. Uh, Manual focus on those cameras is horrible. Trust me. Well, the C920 is all right. And the C930 or the C310, the, you know. Well, I'm running right now off of the uh, mine is and now so you gotta, you gotta go close to my face here. Follow my face. Oh, it has followed my face on the C. The hell is this one? Seven or 270. This is a 270. Yeah, 270 has some nice little features I like on that one. So that is the 920 I am running. I am running, and actually, it's the not the 920, it's the 922 is what I'm running right now. Okay. It's a step up above the 920. It has better yep. uh, color uh, recognition. That's why in this very dark room I'm in right now, you're getting, it looks like it's a very bright room, but it's actually very dark in here. Yeah, I find that my crab cams have better uh <laughs> have better uh that than all right, what is this here? Anti flicker off N C S C N T S C sixty megahertz or P P A L fifty megahertz. I don't know. Weird settings. Uh, I don't know what the hell that even is. Yeah. I gotta buy a couple more of these studio arms and find if I can find the um Don't buy them. The nut. Don't buy them. Huh? Don't buy them. They are too expensive. Which ones? The the roads? The arms? Yeah. Yeah. I mean not. I go to Wal I go to Goodwill and I buy the lights that are on the arms. That, that have desk mounts and everything, and it's exactly yeah. the same thing as that. And I get them at Goodwill for just a couple dollars. 
Oh, no, I got a couple of those ones sitting behind me. Yeah. I just take the light heads off, cut the cord, and take the light heads off, put a camera on it. That's what I would need to do with these ones, put a camera on one of these. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Just get one, take one of them light ones. That you what I need is back. a nut. I don't have any nuts that I can find that will fit, fit the light yeah. properly. Yeah, I have one up there. Yep. I have another one over there. Yep. And my microphone's on one. It's yep. Crammed in the corner right now. But yeah, I, uh, that's all I use, man. I mean, instead of spending, I mean, even still, they're only $10, $15, but that's $10, $15. I can get four of them, five of them, six of them, you know, for that. Yeah, I got a couple of them sitting here that are, um, that I got to make the mounts for them because I lost the mounts. Yeah, that's on Thingiverse. You can, I, I printed them out and they turn out pretty good. Okay. Yeah, no, what I want to do with one of them, is I had a microphone already attached to it. I built a whole microphone mount out of ABS plastic. Uh, yeah. This is before I got into 3D printing. I actually mainly made myself a uh, um, a shock mount. Yeah. And it worked great. It was perfect. But I got the studio arm for 100 bucks. I was like, okay, I can get a studio arm for 100 bucks. It has no springs in it. It's all compression fitting, and that's what I love about this thing is that there is no springs in it. So I don't hear that springy dang or anything like that, but for an arm so I can put my camera on is what I'm looking for next. Yeah. Well, that's why I said I just, just, you just do the way how I do it with the uh, light or lights. Well, I plan on doing that. It's just the guy get it all set up, you know? Yeah. I mean, it's cheaper. And then if you want one, the, the, they actually have the, uh, a spring mount for the microphones actually Ed made one Ed made his own and it looks pretty cool looks like an old fashioned one you know cool yeah yeah so I'm going to be working on the uh, CR10 it's going to be up and running by the end of today hopefully uh oh well Al, let's hang out I'll, I'll sit there with you I got to work on mine too so well I'm I got the um I got the new I got the new head. Um I finally got all the plastic I think out of the head. <laughs> um I'm hoping. I what am you hoping. Do to that one again? That one leaked. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I've retightened the screws. I'm going to try I readjusted the amount and everything else. So, hopefully this is going to work. Yeah. That's all I can say. I hopefully it will work. Um, I'm gonna put back in the new. I'm gonna put back in the screws and everything else. I'm gonna tighten them up as tight as I can push, force them to tighten up. I don't want to tighten them up too much and then you know strip the damn blade thing. That's the last yeah. thing I need to do. But I'm gonna tighten them up as tight as I can get them, where it's like it's a firm tightness, but not too tight where I'm over tightening the nut, the uh, yeah. where the two meet together. Hopefully. And, uh, yeah, hopefully the time I put filament through it, it won't leak. And my first test will be a Benchy. Looks like we got a bugger on the tip there, don't it? Um, yeah, hard to say. Yeah, I know, because of the focus. <laughs> yeah. I don't think so, but it looks like it's a little high, though. The nozzle? Yeah. I don't know. Well, I guess as late as Z hop, it lifted the nozzle a little high. I mean, the layer lines look a little shitty, but not too bad. <laughs> well, you got to watch what you do today, though, because today on Fun in the Country Basement is Glenn's two year celebration, which means a bunch of giveaways. Ah, okay. So, I mean, I'm going to be watching that while I do stuff today. That starts in, I think, 15 minutes or an hour or 15 minutes. I oh, forget. So is it like a two-year anniversary for Fun King or? Yeah. 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 I'm surprised Fun King's not doing his own thing then. Well, they're just doing, doing it fun in, the, in the celebration in the, in the group, you know, because that's when they do the live stream. Oh, who knows? Maybe I'll win something again. <laughs> I haven't won nothing in a long time. Oh man, that was funny. I win the IC3D filament. 
Oh, man. Oh, yeah. I advertised uh, filament CA today because I used the filament CA uh, cleaning the uh, nozzle out. Filament. Yeah. Yeah. You only need a little bit. That's all you need. Just cut like yeah. a Yeah, well, I, this, thing, this thing has like an 800 millimeter long um, Bowden tube on it. So I took the Bowden tube off and just did it right at the tip. Yeah. But trying to do that, I grabbed hold of the uh, nozzle, trying to get the Bowden tube out, not realizing the nozzle was still on. I thought it was off. Like Oh, ouch. So, yeah, I've got me a little wrap on my hand here with I, or a little ice pack here on my finger right now. Yeah. Because, you know, every time you take it off, it's like, owie, 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 owie. <laughs> That's why when I take off my nozzle, I I take it off with... um. I didn't take my nozzle off. Ah. I was just trying to take the freaking Bowden tube out. Yeah, that's why I always turn off my printers when I do that type of stuff. <laughs> yeah, but then with, I, didn't, I wanted the motors to stay locked because with the double with the double Z motors, you know? Yeah. I yeah, know, get out of whack, and I got to re-level them things, and then I got to re-level the bed. This, this machine is really just a pain in the ass. You know, as far as, you know, it's a good machine for probably for somebody that's just going to have like one or two machines and is going to set it somewhere and forget it. Don't so touch it. Just basically, when, you're, when your daughter gets this machine, basically it ain't moving. So <laughs> Yeah, you can't move it. You can't do nothing to it. You know, she loves the lights that are on it. You know? cool. Well, maybe she'll start her own channel. Oh, she has one. She well, no, start, start her own 3D printing channel. <laughs> yeah. No, that'd be great. I think she should. And then all of a sudden, Wiley's channel sits at 200, 300, and her channel shoots up to, you know, 1K. 10,000? That's great. I'd be happy for her. I, I, you know, and I'm a good dad. I'd let her use my space. You know? Good morning, everyone. Hey, Jesse. Oh, how's it Ah, uh, Jesse. Okay. Yeah, I would. Uh, no, I definitely see share space. We can uh, both. Uh, we can both film out of the same studio. We are uh, just seeing how the this is working now with the. I mean, I don't hear that thing. I heard it all night last night, even before I started to print. I heard that sucker chomping away. You know. Oh, I just to see if I can get it to focus a little well, bit better. Also, that JD Aurora had problems. We kind of knew that going in. You kind of knew that going into that, so. Well, yeah. You know, but I just... Oh, come on now. There's a killer box. Trying to do shit one-handed to... Ain't seeming to work out too well for me here. Nice window. <laughs> I know I'm trying to get there. Just being a smart ass, I'll get there in here. <laughs> oh come on! You know you like you like it when we're jackass. I know. <laughs> I just need to get the. Now does the bed move forward when it's done to print? When it's done? Yeah. I don't know. Uh oh. Okay, so why? Oh, because some machines will actually jet the bed forward when it's done to print, so you don't want it to knock over your camera again. Yeah, I don't care about that. I'm going to try to get this somewhere. Let me see if we can cook the camera. Got some big fingers. <laughs> I'm not. Any better? <coughs> oh, that's way better. Better view of the cat. Of the, uh, you can put that Benji. in the Benji code. You can put that in the Benji code. Yeah, I know. It goes one direction. I just don't remember which direction. There, now you can see the back side of the burn. <laughs> Seems like the printer is more in focus than the actual print is. Oh, there you go. Is it better? 
a little bit better, a lot better, yeah. yeah. I got it sitting on the actual hotbed, so it's like not um. Yeah. The camera is sitting on the hotbed. Yeah. That's all right. It's a cheap camera. It's a three dollar camera. Oh, okay. I mean, it is the C nine or a C two seventy, but still. Uh, two seventy is not. Uh, it's a pretty cheap yeah. camera. I got it at Goodwill for like two bucks. So. Well, that's not too bad. I mean, I every time I go to Goodwill, I can never find anything. My friends go to Goodwill all the time. They find something. It's like, really? How the hell did you find that? I'm like, oh. Every time I go, I find nothing. But uh, you see them two screws sticking out of the fan box there? Up towards the, you know, halfway up there, right up at the yeah. top. That fan was just sitting in there. Really? Uh, no screws? There was no screws holes in it. It just sits there. There was holes for it, as you see. But I had to put them in this way because I couldn't, couldn't I flipped them and wanted them to so it looked nicer, you know? Have the heads on the outside. I even drilled out some of the heat break and everything to try to get the nuts to fit it. I couldn't get them. I just like this on it, flip it around. Hey, a 3D medic pins. There goes the camera. Camera down. Camera down. Yeah, I knew that was going to happen eventually. Well, the next mod you can do on our printer, if you want to do a mod, is maybe add a camera mount somewhere on there. Yeah, and there's a way to, there's one out there for it. But it's kind of cool with it sitting on the bed because it looks like just the head's moving, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I'd put it on the back side like just somewhere if I put a camera mount on it. You know? I think she wants one, though. Well, it's not whether she wants one. It's whether Dad wants one. <laughs> well, I mean, she'll be printing on it, but probably, you know, she won't print that much on it. Mm. So, I mean, she might. Yeah. We took disco light cups. Hey, what's up, Robbie? Hey, Robbie Mac. Oh, I was going to look oh. see what time is the basement on today. He's live now. Where's the set reminder for um, live? CNC Kitchen's on today, too, live. Everybody's going to go live today. Yeah. I'm going to get mine done early, so I don't care. <laughs> so, is Fun in the Country Basement going to be broadcasted on... Um... It's on um, country stream today. No, they should Not never say a thinking. They had a half a brain that never stream on countries because his internet sucks. His internet's worse than mine. Yeah, I noticed lately. Yeah, lately, it's always been that way. But it's been worse since he moved out to the uh, out to the trailer. Funky, yeah, Fun King. It's on Our anniversary. Yeah, that's what I thought it was on Fun Kings. I wasn't sure. Yeah, it was like mostly fun in, fun in the country has been sent to uh, Glenn. Yeah. Well, the Fun in the Country basement has it or own. Oh, no, they don't have a channel yet. That was somebody else that just did that. I guess I that was 3D catch up. Anything away or not. Um, yeah, I think he is. He's got a bunch of stuff to give away, I think. Yeah, I'd be warned. It probably is IC 3D filament, mostly. <laughs> yeah, I know. <clears throat> Where maybe... Uh, which I got to do some... Still do some testing with this baby. What is that 3D? Uh, 3D fuel. 
the everyday, the workday pet G. So, oh, what is there like your everyday printing type material? <clears throat> their pet G is? Yeah. Oh. They have three different types of pet G. Uh, there's uh, one that's uh, not as good. Um, it's kind of a weaker version of their 3D fuel, of their other stuff is just for prototyping. Then their yeah. work day is considered strong, that you can print with it every day, and it's going to be uh, performed the same way every single day. Then their high end stuff is their high end stuff. I mean, that stuff is just. So, what are you saying? That's uh, hit and miss? <laughs> no, it's high end, end stuff? What do you mean? Is there a premium end of yeah, filament? And it's really hard to work with. It, like you have to be an expert at working with uh, that type of filament, from what I was told. Uh, everybody just tells me stick with work a day. If you want strong PLA, go with their PLA plus. Uh, you get that at their PLA. You get their that PLA up? prints like a beaut. Did you get that at Murph? Yeah, they gave it to me. Nice. I was just walking by. They said, "Hey, you got two point eight five printers." I'm like, "I wish I did." I don't have a lulz bot, unfortunately, or a maker bot. Can't afford them. Like, oh. Here, boom, throw me a different role. He's like, I got some of this stuff still kicking around. I'm like, Pet G? Oh, hell yes. <laughs> He's like, he looks at me like, I'm learning to print with this stuff. He's like, you're going to love it then. <laughs> yeah, I got three rolls of Pet G from Murph. Yeah. But that came from Red Knight. <laughs> uh, he got it from uh, Vince, I think, right? Vince? I think so. He got a yeah. print from, from one of Vince's auctions that he does. I can print 2.95 now, printing face with smiling eyes. Oh, hey, Red Light. Oh, that's cool. When did you get a three millimeter printer? Um, which one do you have? Do you have like a Maker Pod, a Lil's Pod, or is it you, you just built one? Oh, you got it from Iron Joe. I oh, okay. got it from Iron Joe. Okay. Well, I knew he got it from somewhere. I just remember who he got it from. Ah, uh, then red light. You should have gone down to the guys over at uh, Fuel. They had tons of uh, 2.85 kicking around. They didn't uh, want to get back with them. What did you do to print with the uh, 295 filament? Did you just change around a few things, Mike, or what did you do? Get a new printer? <clears throat> or just a new hot end in Bowden Tube? Yeah, change Bowden Tube. You're going to have to change the extruder. I didn't give any filaments away. I didn't say you gave it away. I said he got it from. I know he got it from somebody. I just didn't remember who he got it from. Vince? I don't know. Hawk is back. No, got me an original Ultimaker for 200 bucks. Oh, cool. Oh, wow. I, I got to get these printers done and sold. So if I come across a good deal like that, I can afford to get one. I can afford to borrow more money from the in-laws to get one. <laughs> face with tears of joy. Face with tears of joy. Face with tears of joy. How did I figure Hawk was going to do that I to us? Glass. If I use Aquanet or glue stick on it, can I print pet on it? Yeah. Right now, um, pay on it to print. Pet. Just, just as long just as you have. Want to risk tearing up my glass? No, you got to have a separation. I'm going. You got to have a separation between the glass. So yeah, if you put use glue stick, you'll be should be fine. There ain't no guarantees that it's going to save your glass, but I mean, you need ninety percent of the time you'll be fine. And that's what people do is they put down glue stick. I don't know about hairspray. I've never used that and stuff. Here's but. a trick. If you want your if you don't want your print to stick badly to the bed, I've you I've tried using, believe it or not, the gloop on the bed, and it does hold, but you gotta wait till it cools. Once it's down to a temperature that the room is at, then you'll be able to remove your print. But you want to do it after it cools down because if you don't let it cool down, it'll take a piece of glass out of your bed. Yeah. Um, PI sheet is okay. 
but I'm not sure how PI is on PetG. Now I've used it with uh, my printer running. Um, like I had Gecko Tech on my printer, and I run PetG on it with no problem whatsoever. Like the PetG, it just lifted off after I had to let it cool. Then it was just like wiggle, wiggle, popped off with nothing, with no residue on the bottom or anything. Yeah, I would definitely um, use glue stick. You know, whether you're printing a PEI sheet or anything, or tape, yeah, blue tape will work too. Yeah, blue tape. Actually, if I blue painter tape, it takes I a little I use bit. blue painter's tape. Yeah. I do PETG on the MK3, which has pay sheet, no problem. Okay. Yeah, I don't have a PI sheet, so I can't really say on the PI sheet part. So. I wonder. It tears it up if it's too far and doesn't stick if it's too far from the pay. I tell you, for I don't know if the, somebody else put this uh, benchy on there or what, but it ain't that pretty of a benchy if it comes from the factory. Okay, uh, tricks with um, printing. With Pet G, make sure you have it set for your Z point. I did it at a point five uh, off the bed, and I got a perfect, perfect print on P on a uh, regular glass. Yeah, the MK3 has a nice pay sheet. Yeah. So basically, I said my my parameters to lift the nozzle up. Uh, 0.5 before printing so that it doesn't have too much squish. The more squish it has, the, the more, more it causes problems. Yeah, the more it's going to embed into the... Yeah. You got to so make sure I you get right the... enough squish. If you get the wrong baby squish, stepping. Yeah, baby stepping. Yeah. I've, I've just actually just recently... You know, started using the baby stepping, and man, do I love it! I, if it does, my now one of my printers don't have it. I redo the firmware to make sure it does. Yeah, th three yeah. Ds I know comes all with baby stepping. Yeah, and I love baby stepping. I find baby stepping is the best thing since sliced bread. Yeah, I like that just about as much as I like my little twisty uh, Z stops, adjustable Z stops that I put on. I put, I, I, but I can't put one of them on this printer, and this printer doesn't have freaking baby stepping. So, I think there's a firmware update for that that you can get that I, would put baby stepping on it. Yeah, I already did uh, it. I already mm -hmm. did it, and it doesn't. Doesn't that one have like a Z probe or something like that for nope. uh, probing your bed? Nope. I thought it did. Nope. Oh, okay. You could put one on it. It has filament run out is what it has. Mm. That's the only thing it has. Then it looks like you have a couple of pink uh, zip ties on it too. Yeah. Now it's just hold some wires on for the uh, LED lights. Okay. Just because there, there's nowhere to there's nowhere to put the stuff <laughs> in. But this thing being all tin... You know, there's no, there's, can't get to nothing to do anything, and I don't know. Mm. I really don't like the frame. You know, I really don't. Just because of that, you know, there's like nothing there that you can do. Well, one thing I would recommend, if you do give, if you have the money, and I do mean this, and I don't, so go ahead. <laughs> Get some Gecko Tech. I've been wanting to try that. I wanted to try some Gecko Tech, and I, I, they weren't at Murph, were they? No, they weren't. But they'll probably be at Murph this year. All right, Earth, you mean? Yeah. I yeah. have that Creolite Ultra Base glass for my Ender Three laying around somewhere. Could I print PET on that without an interface material? Anything uh, you're printing on a uh, glass that it and it's PET G. You need to have some type of layer. Yeah, but it's an ultra base. It's a, he's got the ultra base on it, like I do on the. I don't know. Ultra base should be okay. Is it okay? I don't know. I mean, I would try it. 
But I would also go online and ask um, at any cubic right down to them and say, I'm playing on premium with Pet G. Is there anything I should be aware of on this glass? Let's see what they say. It says it's 40% done. I'd also go on the Anticubic uh, Facebook fi uh, page and talk with anybody that has Anticubic and say, listen, first time printing with Pet G. Anything I should know about printing with, uh, because I have the Anticube, you know, or whichever, whoever makes the Ultra Base. Um, I can't get PLA to stick to it. I flip it over and use bare glass for PLA. Huh. I, you know, I would just uh, dial back to or this JG Aurora here, and then Ultra Base on here. I actually put a the um, 3D. Uh, this is from um, who is this from? God darn it! Doesn't say on it either. As I tell you, oh, um, uh, Tesla filament, Tesla goo. I put Tesla goo down on there just to get prints. I put Tesla goo on mine to get anything to stick to it because I couldn't get shit to stick to the Ultra Base either. Mm -hmm. I you actually have had an original Ultra Base somewhere, but I can't find it since I moved. But that was supposed to be for my Tronxy, my Enet. I'm a little torn on something, guys. Uh-oh. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm picking up the wham-bam system, but I'm a little torn on my own ethics, and I'll explain this. It'll sound kind of, uh, yeah, well, you know, they did something stupid and just let them go, but I have my morals. Uh, wham-bam, when they first were coming out with their system, they spammed all, and I mean all, Facebook feeds. They spam the whole Facebook groups. Uh, 3D printing. 3D printing Canada. 3D printing um, CR10 groups. Uh, 3D printing Creality group. They, they spammed everyone. With check out Wham Bam, the new system. I was a mod on three channels. I, I deleted every single one. Because they did not con because we have a strict rule in those channels. Contact us if you want to advertise before you post. Yeah. There's nothing that said approved by a min, nothing like that. It was just posted everywhere. Just a video. No link, no nothing. Just spammed our chat. Just spammed us. Oh, so look at that, man. If I do good guys. today, why don't you guys hit them thumbs up? I got two thumbs up, six down. <laughs> oh, geez. Okay, everybody right. vote up. Well, they're just cramming me today. Oh, jeez, the haters. And that's the way how it is. Well, we know who the haters are, so. I don't care who they are. And that's about as many people that are in here. So, I mean, it's all right. I don't give a crap anymore. I never have, really. Yeah, but still, the haters need to go away. If you don't like the content, just go away. It's the best way to say it. Yeah. They say you have to run the bed super hot for ultra base, but I'd like to run 50 to 55 C on the bed for PLA. Anything higher, I feel like I'm cooking it. Dude, I go 60 to 70 on my bed when I'm doing yeah. PLA. Yeah, I'm uh, my bed when I did that, that, that thing there, I was at 70, and that was an overnight print. It's still peeled up. Burn yeah, up you should it. be running your bed at least at 60, a little bit higher. Because that's when the ultra base starts kicking in. You don't cook if you're not cooking your PLA properly. That can cause it to lift. It can cause it to do some weird stuff, and that's probably why it's not sticking to the bed. You're not you're not cooking PLA on your hot bed. I mean, look at what you're doing to get it to come out to extruder. Yeah. You know, it just makes it a little soft. That's all. It ain't cooking it. So, 
Yeah, I run my bat at what? Uh, 60 for most of my PLAs. I run it at 65 when I got some difficult PLA. And I've got PLA that just won't stick. Then I throw on some magic goo on that. Yeah. Uh, but I'm not, yeah. I would never do anything under uh, 50. No. No, no. I wouldn't even do anything under 60 myself. Well, no, I mean... I never have issues at 5-0-C with PLA on glass with Aquanet. Well, you got Aquanet on there, you probably don't even need it at 50. You know? Yeah, if you're doing Aquanet, you can probably just cook it at zero and still have a good print come off of it. But personally, myself, I like to be at 60 on a heated bed. I find it sticks better. Is my own personal take, and I'm doing this on mirrors. So, the only problem with Aquanet that I have that I will not use it is it goes everywhere. It's well, yeah, cool. so, take your bed off. Yeah, you take your bed off. They also have that applicator on Thingiverse, just squirt it onto a, a paper towel and then apply it with a paper towel. Mm. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of Aquanet. I've used either Magic Goo, I've used Glue Stick, and I've used um, what's the other one I've used? Something called I've Pure Fix. Aquanet. I've never used hairspray at all, but I did just pick up some extra form. form. But is that Aussie hairspray? I don't know what it is. Just hairspray, man. Some generic. Okay. Just some generic crap I picked up at Wally World for a buck. That's all. Go back to the uh, oh. oh, I unplugged that bitch, didn't I? Yeah. But come on, Benchy. We'll get this Benchy done here sometime. I do got to. I wrote that down on my desk from Trucker the other day. And it was 95 or something compared to 200. It's got to be on my desk here somewhere. I write everything right on my desk and then I wipe it off with alcohol. There it is. I don't trust my The Ender 3 without a MOSFET at that time. My foot six or foot five with a solid state relay, I'll do 110 for a month straight. Now my enders, I run them at 70 degrees all the time on the bench. I run them at 70, I run my hot ends up to, I run my hot ends up to 150. But I also, Really only 150? Or 250, I mean. Yeah. 250. But I have the, my my mod that I've done on my enders so I can print that hot. I'm still, guess, cooking the Capricorn? Capricorn, still cooking the Capricorn tube a little bit inside there, but. <laughs> yeah, Capricorn all the way. Yeah. But I, I only use 36 millimeters of it, you know? I don't use it on my whole machine. Well, they're direct drive now anyways, but. Yeah, so you don't need to worry about that. But even before they were direct drive, they were, uh, I only used 36 millimeters of Capricorn on my enders. Just for the hot end, right? Just for inside the hot end, correct. Yep. So then I can run it at a higher temperature. And that way you can drill it out so you don't have that such tight tolerances for some of this other filaments, you know? Yeah. Well, I got Capricorn in my printer, and I love it, so. Yeah. Uh, well, I use a lot of cheaper filaments, so it's hard to uh, justify trying to shove crap filament through a uh, Capricorn tube, you know? True, especially when Capricorn is so picky. Yeah. And that's why I don't use it. So for just a little bit. Yeah, like I said, if I could get you a couple rolls of... Um... A filaments.ca's cheapo brand, as they call it, which is basically Ecotuff still. 
I think you'd be really happy with this stuff, but you'd have to break your own spool, though. That's the only bad thing. But it's $15 a roll Canadian, so yeah. I don't know what that works out to American, though. I have no idea. Well, time to check EX. Let's have a look. Uh, well, I've got my, I'm running off my SSD oh, now. I picked up four new hard drives yesterday. For a Canadian, they're um they're not super fast. They're five forties, two five hundreds, and two seven fifties. I got them for twenty bucks. So and it's eleven dollars a roll is what it works out to for you, Willie. Yeah, that ain't bad. But then you got the damn shipping. You know that's the thing. Yeah, seventeen dollars. Uh, but if you buy up to two hundred dollars worth, they'll send it for you free, free. Well, yeah, free, free. I'm not buying two hundred dollars worth of Canadian filament. Yeah, yeah, twelve dollars for shit. It's about twelve sixty three for shipping. Just for shipping? Just for shipping. Yeah, now you had twenty three bucks for freaking a roll of filament. That's true. You know, that ain't crap filament no more. You're getting into good filament territory. Yeah, but if you buy like say four or eight roll like four or five rolls at one time, it's only seventeen dollars shipping. Uh, straight flat rate. So yeah. no matter how many you order, it's just going to cost you. But if you order from Zyltec, you order from Zyltec, spend seventy five dollars, it's free shipping. Then it's only eleven dollars a roll. There. Yeah, but you're in the U.S. Yeah, that's the problem. It's getting it across the border. Somewhere there is a, uh, or there's supposed to be a uh, thing. I, all my stuff's gone right now. Skaldas is gone. My sponsor's thing is gone because I switched everything over to uh, that SSD. Yep. So all my stuff is gone right now for advertising. But down in a link, there's a link Ron for Zaltec. The new upgraded board for the Ender 3 Creolite is offering with the TMC2208 drivers. All right. It's on the two layer board for the TMC2208. I have one. Did, didn't pass it up for $39. Did you get one? Because I heard they only made 25 of them. They only made 25 of them boards. Or did they do a second run of them? It's been popular, so I wouldn't be surprised if they did a second run. But I, I don't know how they could be popular when they only made 25 of them the first run. Everybody thought they were buying them. And so they, they were buying all these boards up, but they weren't with the 2208 uh, chips in them. They were just the regular Ender boards because when they first come out with them boards, yeah, I understand I it. I understand that, Jesse. But like I say, when they first came out with them 2208 boards, they only made 25 of them. And then they, once them 25 were gone, they were gone. And yeah, then because... Then people were buying them, buying all these boards, thinking that they were the 2208 boards, and they weren't. Yeah, check your board out. Make sure if it has the 28, uh, 2208s. Yeah. Because uh, What's-His-Face did a review on them. Uh, Chap, and his was a Creality 1.1.4, but he's using the TM Smoother 20 something 2880s or something like that it was, it was some weird board number and they were noisy as can be so uh, i yeah. don't know yeah i don't know if they did a second run on them or not yeah i know that would that when they first came out they only did a run of 25 and that was it and it'd be cool if they did a second run i still wouldn't pay 40 bucks for that board i just found on amazon some 2208 uh, chips or drivers, you know. I could get six of them for 30 bucks. Now, unlike you, Mike, I would still use the Creality 1.1.4 board over what I have right now in my CR10. Yeah, but, oh, at cool, same, but at the same time, um, I see a good reason to get it if you're like one if you're like me that doesn't want to spend the time remodding his old bo his own box. 
So I do yeah. see the advantage in that. Uh, yeah. But at the same time, I do agree with you. It's like, why would you put that in your system? I see that side too. I see both sides on this picture. Well, see, I mean, it's great that they're doing that for 40 bucks. That's a good deal. You know, because I mean, it dropped, it should drop the price of the original boards down, which it ain't gonna, because I'm more like 40 bucks too, ain't they? But, um, I think they're selling them for less than that. I well, yeah, they have to be selling the other ones for that. But mm. this here is a link for a uh, copy US, of course. But these are 22.008s. You can get the, uh, or sorry, five pieces. Five pieces for 30 bucks. Or you can buy just two of them. Because that's, if you're, if you only got one printer, that's all you need for them drivers. You only need two of them. You know, because you don't need it on the extruder and you don't need it on the Z or X. Sorry, the X. You don't need them on the X or the, or the extruder. So you really only need two of them steppers. You know. But this is a link. I was going to buy five of them just to have them because then I can put them, you know, two on a couple of different boards. HTTPS slash slash www.amazon.com slash GP slash product slash B07LG1MJY2 slash. There's some pretty good price. Yeah, no, it's a real good price. Then they have the white ones too. They're a little bit more expensive. They're $3 more if you want to get the actual white ones. Yeah, but is that screwdriver the actual ceramic screwdriver or not? No. Yeah. Or $36 for five of them. $37 for five of the white ones. I don't know what the hell the difference is. If you want two of them, you can get them for nine bucks. Nine bucks. Yeah, $9.99. Oh, they went down. Yeah. Uh, 13 bucks. No, $9.99 just for two if you just need two of them. So it would be cheaper. It would be cheaper to buy six of them for 30 bucks than to buy five of them for 30 bucks. <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, but if you only needed four, then that's perfect amount for you. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, they have four of them. Four of them is $27. Why does that make any sense? It doesn't. I buy two of the nine of nine ninety nine. You know. Yeah, buy two of them and then buy two more. Yeah. Yeah, I know those screwdrivers are just plain screwdrivers. But I might get a set of them and put them in my tomato. Try them out. What other? I guess I can put them in here too because this has got the MKS board in it too, and the JG. I have too many printers. Two of them run MKS one point four. Yeah. Hold your tech foot five and six. Rob going to upgrade one to the Duet Wi-Fi and see how I like that. That's a lot of money for a board. I and mean, you can like it all you want, but well, how much is that board? A couple hundred bucks? Whew. That's 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 a board. That's a board that you use just for something special. I mean, because how can you you can like it all you want, but if you got a freaking you know Buy one for every one of your printers. You're getting into some doage there. You know? Yeah, it doesn't say. I'm looking on right now on the. Uh, I just went to the Creality Zone website. And it says upgrade to silent 1.1.4 board, but it's not saying if it's. With drivers they them on AliExpress, I think. Well, I'm looking at Creality's own website, and they're selling Silent Board. They call it the uh, Silent 1.1.4 main board. So that might be it. Well, you would think they'd advertise the 2208s on it. Yeah, but they're just calling it a Silent Board. I understand that. But I'm saying you would think they'd try to advertise the. Uh... You think that, yeah. I don't know. Hang yeah, on one second. I'm right back. Yeah, Talking I mean... not legit. Oh, 
Come on, work reality 3D. Yeah, we got cat number two in the kennel now, <laughs> waiting for pups to poop out. Touch screen we're after did on their ender three cheap and pretty nice. Did anyone see the? Three. Anyone else have certain filaments that print fine on every printer and others that clog all the time? Yep. Yeah, that's uh. I have filament that works just fine, and all of a sudden, quits working just fine, too. Just like the same filament as blue filament here that I have in green, it just won't print. It won't print no more to save its life. I don't know. It must have a, must be real moisture filled or something. I don't know. Wow, something must be really messed up on Creality's website. Well, I mean, uh... I typed in Creality like three times in um on the Enders like just here on Cre on um what do you call it? And it just kept on giving me weird out giving me weird information. Uh yeah, two thirty one Canadian is not too bad for a meanwhile with a meanwhile power supply. Having a problem are you there, Ben? With one of your printers or with one of your filaments? Every printer Yeah, I was having that issue with um, IC3D. I could not get it to print properly. No matter what I'd done, I upped the temperature, I downed the temperature, I tried everything I could think of. I just couldn't get that stuff to print properly. I just gave up. I think while I watch, uh, I don't know. I might leave a live stream going while the basement's going. Yeah, blue material has blocked my MK3 bond tech. Like, is that one brand of filament? I tried another diameter of filament. Let's check the diameter. See how. Yeah, see the diameter's out of whack. The diameter is. Send me some of the IC3D wrong. I'll get it working, dude. There you go. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sending it. I've already got rid of it. So, yeah, you didn't even give give it to me, you prick. <laughs> Mister, I'll bring you a roll of film and give me a little sample. <laughs> hey, I can get an extra roll. Here, 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 here's five meters. Print away. LOL face with tears of joy, face with tears of joy, face with tears of joy. I still got to get out all my stuff mailed out. I haven't done that. Everybody's going to start yelling at me pretty soon. I have not mailed out the badges yet. I did get the envelopes for them, though, so I'm getting closer. What badges? For Murph. Oh. I got extra badges. Problem is, okay. Most of them are going overseas because Hawk's getting one and then um, Matt's getting one. At least you're not seeing them badgers. What's wrong with Wisconsin badgers? No, badgers are just bad ideas, you know? Uh -huh. I don't think anybody wants to open a block and get a badger in their face. Uh, tear your ass up. That'd be expensive to ship, too. Anyway. Yeah, but you'll have a laugh every time someone sends you pictures of them and got attacked by badgers. Yeah. Oh, sleep with my glasses on and smashed them into my face. Now I got a big red spot on my nose and it hurts. Not as bad as my picture, though. Ah, he's stupid. He bent you to be a quicker print. Says total time two hours. Badgers, badgers. We don't need no stinking badgers. 
I have the custom Crea lighting board with dual extrusion and two O tens on my CR ten S four works good, but I would like to oh, see a lifting that. nozzle set up for that printer. Like to see a lifting nozzle. What is that? A lifting nozzle? You mean like Z hop? What do you mean by that, Jesse? A lifting nozzle. I don't know what that is. Wow. Okay, I'm not buying that. Creality CR 2020 desktop printer fully assembled with free auto leveling support, automatic shutdown function, selling for $996.99 with a shipping cost of $633.64. Oh, yeah. They'll get you any way they can. Uh, yeah, not, I'm, buying that. I'm not paying that price. I have the, the new. <laughs> Like the multi maker where the nozzles are so late and see one of them moves up when it's inactive. Oh, yeah, 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 okay. Yeah, no, that'd be nice. When I went up there, when I went up there and bought all them printers from that guy, I thought I was looking for, I was looking for a multicolored printer. I really wanted one of them. That'll be next. I'll be one of my stupor inventions I'll put on the ender or something, some mixing nozzle or something. My poor enders. But we do have another deals on geek tech printers. I have another cat in the box ready to have babies here. Should be in the next week. That looks interesting. The giant arm. Ultimate 200. Mm. Mike, I sent you a message in Discord. Oh, okay. What does Ben have to say? No. Oh. Look how it's stuck. We're not even stuck in the gears. Yeah. That is weird. All right, I'll share it. Hey, let me see if I can blow it up some. Oops, I just hit that. I wasn't just giving a second now. I got it just messed up uh, starting that program. Tira, I don't want to start Tira. So that's going to slow down my whole system. I tell you, my system seems a lot faster with that SSD in there. It ain't perfect yet. You know? But SSD it, makes everything faster. Oh, man, I like it. I like it, I'm telling you. <laughs> Bet you wish you updated years ago, eh? Yeah. And so and once I get some uh, DDR3 in there, hopefully that'll be good enough. I don't need to get a new processor. Uh, you always find you need to get a new processor, though. I know. I just can't afford it. That's expensive, expensive, you know, because I'm, oh, I'm running know. an i5. I'm running an i5. Oh, you're running an i5? Yeah. The main problem with having two nozzles that don't move up and down is that one will crash into the print if the geometry of the machine isn't perfect. Yep, yep. You know what? All right, are... here, here, I'm going to lock on me. All right, there's Ben's problem. Getting jammed right in there even without the... Uh, that's got to be your filaments too wide, Ben. Your 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 filament's getting too wide. The dimensions you gotta take your caliper and measure your filament. I mean, that's the only reason why it should get jammed in there. It's also tearing apart one of the holes that in this print. I mean, so, in the yeah, it looks well, like all it's the too big. Oh, you know what? That's what it could be, Ben. Is that the dust? You're grinding on the filament a little bit, and all the dust is wedging down into that bottom side. You might have to send a drill bit through there, yank that out. That's what I think. A company sent me it to test. How the heck do I get that out now? Yank on it. With tears of joy. We got to yank it out, man. There's no yank other it out. Um, What is that? What is that extruder made out of? 
Batman. What is that extruder made out of? Is it printed or is it a, uh, you know? You might have to cut it right in the middle of that uh, gap there, and you might have to pull it out with a pair of needle nose. For me, Jen. Yeah. Well, what I'm thinking is if you can get. SLS. Oh, shit. Yeah. If you can get in into that big opening there with a heat gun and try to heat up the uh, the actual extruder a little bit, to you know, just to heat it up a little bit to make it bigger and maybe soften up that PLA a little bit to where you can yank it out. You know what I mean, Ben? Because whenever you heat stuff up, you know, it, it does get larger. So where that big hole is, if you can take a hair dryer and just kind of blow it into that area and try to get that inside area there to expand so you can yank it out. I mean, that would be my best bet. You could also try doing it as a two pull. So get a needle nose, get your pliers on top, get a needle nose inside and just try to, you know, with both of them, drag it upward and try to pull it out that way too. Yeah. That might yeah. do the trick too. But then, you know, that filament could just be softer filament that it's flaking off like that and it just crammed that hole full of flakes and then you're jamming that filament to there too. You know, that's probably why it did it. The way how it looks, yeah, or it yeah. Crammed up like that because it got stuck. I'm going to give this feedback to the company for sure. Oh yeah, big time. Yeah. I'm also noticing if you look how deep the teeth cuts are in the filament, makes me think the filament is actually bigger than what they suggested it is. Yeah, that's why I told them to measure the filament. Yeah, because that's way off. Because that has to be off sized. Yeah. But yeah, I'd send a. Where's my mouse? Can we see my mouse? No, I have to go up here. Yeah, I'd send a heat gun in or a hair dryer right in I'm here. One moment. You know what I mean? Send a heat gun right into this area or a hair dryer. He's so gonna measure it. He says up the inside of this area to make it larger. So you ain't getting the filament heated up just in here. I mean, that's just what I would try to do. He's going to measure the filament right now. Yeah. A few things I would actually check with that filament. Number one, make sure, if, like, check even deeper in the realm and just run your caliper across and see if it widens it. You know, just double check in like four different areas. I would test it on, you know, up and down, left to right. Uh, <coughs> knows how to do all that. Yeah. But, I mean, I'm sure that's what the problem is, is that the dimensional accuracy isn't there. No. 1.5 millimeters. Yeah, I bet you it gets bigger than that in some spots. That is, yeah. There. Or unless I say, like I say, that it's all them shavings are getting stuck down inside there. But man, like I say, I'd, I'd, I'd heat it up through this hole right here. I figured you could see my mouse if I go up to that screen. Try heating it up through this hole here so the heat moves through here and not onto the filament as much. And it might, it might be able to loosen that up enough to yank that out. If you can get the heat to kind of direct right into this area. It looks like there's another hole right there. It might lead in further, you know. Yeah, I first tried the hair hang. I tri first tried doing the hair the hair dryer myself. If that didn't work, then I would manually move both of them, like one use the wrench. Further on. Yeah, so that shouldn't be that shouldn't be having a problem of getting stuck in there. I bet you anything. Once you get that out. I bet you anything that's really wide right there. I bet you that's probably like two. Can you measure right there, Ben? Can you measure right there, Ben, with your calipers? Can you get in there and measure that spot? One Ooh. Millimeters even further. Yeah. Ben, can you get into the extruder area right there and measure that filament right there? 
I know it'd be hard, but you might be able to get in there. This does not sound like free music, man. Supposed to be free music. Hmm. Oh, um, where am I? Yeah, we're not hearing your music at all. Oh, okay. I don't think this is free music. <laughs> I really don't, man. I mean, this is some good music. Can you hear it now? Yep. 1.5 millimeters in the extruder. Wow. Mm. Yeah, this thing is jamming up. I I would definitely try to get that out of there as fast as I can. Uh, take an air gun through it, clean out all the uh, crap around there, and uh, so you can do, man. Yeah. Maybe take it apart and soak it in hot water. Soak her inside her. filament and not the extruder since it's ABS or pet, I'm assuming. That's some damn good music if it's free music. I'm probably getting copyright strikes all over. Uh, the stuff I use for free music, I just go to the free music jukebox on, um... Well, this isn't who I usually use. I have a playlist, but, you know, it got moved. Yeah. So, oh, it looks like we got a layer shift. I use oh, music... Layer shift. I didn't know it was a layer shift. I bet G doesn't have a big old thing oh, like crap. that. Yeah, major layer shift. Isn't that cool? That's a major layer shot. <laughs> How the hell? Way out sailing there, boy. Yeah. Uh, can you see it that way any better? <laughs> that shifted what? just a little. Just a little? <laughs> Dude, that's a big jump. Yeah, it is. But it's still printing? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's printing. I didn't even hear it. I got a little bit of stringing, but nothing you can't fix with a heat gun. There's a good question. What filament was that, uh, Hawk? Was it um, PLA? Oh, oh, it's SLA, SLS. No, sorry. Oh, well, that SLS is what the extruder's made out of. Yeah, no, I meant the uh, actual way we're printing with. Impartially out-check Discord, Mike. Oh, yeah, I see that. What happened there? Better PLA, they are about 10 minutes from me. Well, you know what you do? You take that printer down there and tell them to get that filament out of your damn printer. <laughs> you know, a lot of ways they'll want to see that, anyways. Yep, face with cold sweat, face with cold sweat, face with cold <laughs> oh, sweat. Oh, jeez. Did you heat up the PLA when you were trying to move it? You got a 1.3 millimeter drill bit? <laughs> they are getting an email. Email? I'd do you 10 minutes away. I'd take it to them. Fix it. <laughs> yeah, they're not open right now. <laughs> I don't care. They'll be open tomorrow. That's true. They definitely will be open tomorrow. Now, does it come out the other end or no? 
Or is that a direct drive? Oh, man. You're going to have to turn that whole thing down to every bit and pieces, and you're going to have to send a drill bill to that son of a bitch. There you go, Hawk. You got a show for tomorrow. Live stream it. When in doubt, drill it out. Direct drive, yeah. LOL. Yeah, you just have to drill it out. Damn it. Yeah, damn it is right. All kinds of damn it on that one, Ben. You know what I think is really funny? How out of focus it is on there, but when I look at it on my screen through um through um OBS, it doesn't look bad at all on my OBS screen, but when it's in the Google Hangout crying, screen. Face crying, face crying, face crying, face crying, face crying, face. Quit your whining, you'll get it, Ben. Oh, He's that was the piss right now. That was me. <laughs> Crying for you know, yeah, talk. I understand. Oh, well, my Benchy's almost done. The almost moon roof Benchy. You mean the layer shifting Benchy? Yeah, the five millimeter layer shift. I think you should send that Benchy off to um, to Chris Riley. See what he thinks of it. <laughs> what is this? I have stuff to do. Don't have time for this crap. LOL. <laughs> oh crap! What happened to the Benchy? It had a little air shift. A little air shift. Wow. <laughs> My daughter's like, "What happened?" Yeah, that's one big layer shift, eh? Yeah, we're not even sure why I did it. It just all of a sudden didn't we make a video like nothing. whoop. <laughs> I'm gonna have to rewind a little bit and see that, huh? I guess I could Maybe do now that. it's the decapa um decapa benchy. Decapa benchy, she said. Decapa benchy. <laughs> Let's see, no, My right there. You know what? You should make yourself a decapa cat, but build it big. And then build the head separate, oh. and then you'll have your own uh, storage box. Ben. God damn you, Ben. That's your fault. You know what, Ben? That happened while I was pro presenting your stuff, man. <laughs> so I can't even see when it happened. Yeah. I was, pre I was presenting Discord. <laughs> it's all your fault, Ben. That's yeah, all Ben's fault. There's my daughter. Say hi, honey. Hi. Oh, you just look forward. They can see you. You don't have to look this way. You don't have to look this way. They can see you. Yeah, we can see you through the benchy. Oh. Creepy. Uh, <laughs> Creepy. <laughs> that's all right. They're all nerds. They're all creepy. <laughs> yeah. well, she's met us all already. She was at Earth. I mean, Murph, yeah. I should say. Yeah, tell them to bring me to Murph. Earth? Earth? I told you you'd go to Earth. You just have to have above average scores. What's up, Hey, Skulda Scott. Skulda, how you doing? True, it's in the middle. Well, it's the second week of October. So really, uh, is October second week? They're yeah, second week of October. They're in school. She can take a couple of days off. Nope. nope. Not if, uh, nah, because that's a pretty far drive. That's going to take me a little while. Feed the cat. You know, that's Good a... Hey, stream. hey, Ron, how's it going? Hey, Ron. One problem fixed. I mean, we get another one. What the hell? So, LOL, Scald and Mike can show you LOL. You know, I, I've, I've realized something that's kind of scary. What can I show you? Oh, you're... Uh, <laughs> Pictures. Here, I'll show you this one first. 
He had a little filament trebbage. Uh, there we go. Show me what. There you go. I'm showing you. He had a filament get stuck in there, so we came up with a bunch of brilliant ideas to fix it. And so, he, I don't know which one of the brilliant ideas he decided to try, but now he ended up with that. <laughs> now he's stuck. I'm telling you, pull that piece out and just send a drill bit through that bitch. You'll be all good. Just send a small drill bit through it. If you can get that snipped off. What filament is it? <laughs> it's what you might have gotten in the Skulda box. No. <laughs> no, Skulda box is no, which doesn't. So you don't Scott, get that filament in those box. <laughs> Scott, I don't have your own. Please call it inconsistent. I don't have your advertisement up right now because I got my SSD running and uh, it's missing the picture. I can't find it. So, but I'll get it back up there for you. My uh, F up bench is almost done. We are doing a chimney. So, but anyways, all right, we're done with that. And then, yep, that's it. We're done with everything. What the hell is that? Too bad we don't have Filament Frenzy on here. He'll be going, what the heck? <laughs> yeah. He's been here before. Boy, that's really getting out of focus. Oh, really? I have used both my two rolls up between my MK3 and ENDR3 and no issues. LOL. Oh, in there. Okay, one. Get, them, get a fan on her. Okay. Um. Like she's Take this thing here, don't I don't know, it's because she's tired of crying? Or? I don't know, but let's give her a little bit of air. Ray and Fuchsia from them are fine, but this blue is inconsistent. Just keep it, don't put it right up against the cage. Keep it away from the cage some yeah. and put it on low. Just to see if that helps her with her breathing. I do like the look of those Jake Auroras. Yeah. I like the looks of them, but they're a bitch to work on. I mean, they're really a bitch to work on. I don't like working on it. And when you think the hot ends off, it's not. You burn the crud out of your fingers. It really sucks. And as we were talking earlier, I don't think I like touch screens because you just don't have the options that you do with everything else. Well, I don't have a report. I've climbed up to 256. Yay. You know what? I've climbed up to 256. What did? My subscriber count. Oh, there you go. Yep. I'm getting there. Almost oh, there. Yeah. My numbers. T Series is overtooking Cutie Pie. Ah, oh, that sucks. I don't know. I don't watch none of them goofballs. Yeah, there's, I got it just because I didn't have one, and yeah, I liked the color of it. I thought my daughter would just love it, and that's why everything's printing in pink. If I had baby blue, I'd have printed everything in baby blue, but I had pink, so I did put that three the the new uh, cooling duct down there because the one that comes on there just blows yeah, from the, the back. Screens are big issues across all the printers that use them, but I have seen today on Facebook someone has been making their own buttons and commands. That's what they need. It, it came with just this one on there. Oops, almost in the right spot. That blower duct, you know, and it just blows from the back end, and that's it. And so I don't know. I, this one here, you can still see from the front, from whatever you can see, but it's, um, I don't know, I don't like it. I still don't like it. I gotta do the water test on her is what I gotta do. To see how that blows around that nozzle. Oh, 
I'll have to look at that. Put a link out there, Scala, for that Facebook. A link for that Facebook where they're making their own buttons and commands. They need to make a button for freaking baby stepping. <laughs> What the hell is that? Oh, God, am I having a brain fart right now? Oh, Alexa, tell me a joke. Why do birds fly south for winter? Because it takes too long to dry. <laughs> that was a bad one. I suppose we don't need this in front of the ugly bench anymore. See, you know, it's almost done. 98% done. Fed up. Fed up. Drill it out, I'm telling you. Get a drill bit. Hey, Alexa, order me some filament. <laughs> Alexa, order me some filament. I just added a reminder for filament to your Amazon cart where you can choose something before checkout, including Amazon's choice. Hatchbox PLA 3D printer filament, dimensional accuracy plus slash 0 0.03 millimeters. Really, Hatchbox is now saying that? Interesting. I guess. Let's go to, let's go to Amazon and see what it did. I want to see if I have a reminder. How do you get a reminder? <laughs> See, hear how loud that is? Wow, that is yeah. loud. Man, that is loud. Now we see your face. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it moves forward. I'll take a drive around the bench here if I can get this thing out of here. <coughs> ah, motion sickness. Oh, no, we're going for a run. The benchy. But can I get the benchy to focus? Focus. Yeah, that's a nice layer shift there, isn't it? That's the best benchy ever. You can call it Picasso benchy. Mm-hmm. <coughs> well, we gotta get a uh, fan on there. Can I lock it up a little bit? What, Daisy? You lock it in like your room or something? Because I'm not getting locked in this bedroom, man. It's too freaking hot in here. There we go. I'm bring up the fan here. Yeah, I think I could... Mom will be fine. What, with Daisy? Yeah, they'll be fine. Mm. She'll stay in here. So just put it or just put the gate up. Just so I don't get locked in here. What I need to do is I need to make a copy of this fan of this fan cover. Yeah. Because it comes out very easily. But what I want to do is I want to get a 3D scan of this. Okay. Ah. Of just the cover itself. Yeah. And then put dispute. And then instead of it just being the grid, have it say disputes around it. It's a little bit of a joke. Um, All you gotta do is stick it in your regular scanner and scan it. Really? Yeah. I guess good. I mean, there is curvature to it. So. Yeah. Well, I mean, you'd have to do a little bit of work to it, but you could get the basic setup just by scanning it in your printer. Yeah, maybe. Or your yeah, your regular home, regular old printer printer, you know. There's a little joke with me and my friend. Um, we used to work for a company called, uh, for one of the banks. And I'm people go in with disputes. My category for a Taekwondo competition yesterday. Oh, cool. Congratulations. Yeah. My daughter didn't go to her competition yesterday. She didn't go to her competition right now. She was supposed she had a competition yesterday, but they've been missing so much freaking class that it's not even funny. 
and she better get her act together because next Saturday she has her test to black belt or brown belt, white, red stripe or whatever stripe. Mom, that, yeah, that was this Saturday. Huh? The tournament was this Saturday. I know, but your test is next Saturday. I'm not, I can't go back. Huh? I don't have my black belt. Not black belt. Your regular test for your next, for your brown belt, whatever stripe. That is Saturday. And I know that the competition the tournament was yesterday. I know that. And so that's just telling Ben that you didn't go. But you better get your ass together because you do have your stuff for uh, next Saturday. And it's four months if you miss this test. You got another four months of brown belt. Now her next, and then after this, she's got six months of training for uh, black belt. I guess that black belt test is like eight hours long. That don't even sound fun. That would be a long day for daddy. But don't have the black belt test their next tournament. Next time they have a tournament, that's when they always have their black belt tests is during the tournaments. They have a tournament. So you have an all-day tournament. And after that, then you have an eight-hour test. Cool. All right. How am I doing here? Trying to cool this freaking bed down, man. I'm dead. Stuck and won't move. Tried drill bit and Allen key. A a a a a. What? Go far. Come on. You tried a drill bit? Did you put the drill bit in a drill? Yeah. Don't just shove a drill bit through there. Put it in a drill. Make it active. It will drill through it. Apparently, it's soft enough. What extruder are you stuck in? You might, they might owe you an extruder there, Ben. Bon tech. Yeah, I think they're gonna owe you, owe, owe, owe you an extruder. What time does basement party start? Anybody know? Usually around 4 p.m. they usually do their show. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, I ain't going to live stream until then. That ain't happening. I'm just used, that's right, I'm used to Chris starting a stream before that. That's why. That's right. Oh, well, I want to start working on some stuff here, so. Yeah, no, that's right. Yeah, go ahead. You can start it off because it's a good time. Okay, everybody, as you know, my name is Ron. I run CMP, Canadian Maker Project. So if you guys like, you know, following me, please follow me at uh, Canadian Maker Project on YouTube. Uh, and I have all my other contacts available on the YouTube website. So, you know, come out and say hi. Let me know you're watching. I read all comments. Let's put it that way. Uh, well, thank you all for coming. We got one of the printers running, I guess. I don't know. Ben, you want to jump in the after show? I don't know if I'm going to have one otherwise. Nobody's coming. Ron's leaving, so. I got stuff to do. I got to work on that damn tomato. Morning. Hey, Just Ricky. In time for the end. Yeah. I did that on Scaldi's stream yesterday, too, LOL. Yeah. You can't find the gate. You can't put up the gate when we It's probably outside. Um, Ricky, if you want, I'll send you a link for the after show. For a little bit we can hang out for a little while but that'll be in discord and you can type in the after show too you don't have to be on video but thank you all for coming and uh i guess i'll have another one of these come monday which is tomorrow you are uh, i gotta go mow the yard oh uh, okay ricky um are you streaming uh tuesday ricky later guys 
I don't know if Ricky's going to do a show on Tuesday or not. Waiting for an answer. Planning on it. Okay. Cool. So check out Ricky on Tuesday. And uh, everybody check out everybody's channel and have a great day. And we will.